everybody welcome to my channel welcome to my home and welcome to my art room I hope everyone is doing fabulous I'm doing fabulous myself I'd like to say I'm ready to get started in another project I just need some colors and we do that with the number generating app for anybody that doesn't know what a number generating app is I'm gonna do my best to explain it um it's a random generating number uh, how do I explain this it randomly picks numbers from your parameters so if you're doing a, a giveaway which I am doing a giveaway but if you're doing a giveaway you would put in the number of people who have entered and then the computers are automatically going to pick the number a number however computers do that and that will be the winning number well, that's kind of what we're doing. We get winning numbers for colors. I have 343 colors all numbered. I enter the parameters of 1 through 343. Then I'll hit generate. I'll do this four times to get four different colors. Those four colors I must use in my project. Unless I call a mulligan. And a mulligan I get only if it is absolutely evident that the colors that have been generated are going to be god awful and will not make anything but doo doo brown or booger green or whatever color we don't want to see. And if I call a mulligan, then that means I have to generate another number. I only had to do this once or twice. I had to do it twice. And that's because I don't want to waste resin. I'm sure you don't want to see me waste resin. The whole point of this method is to get great color combinations or figure out combinations that aren't going to be so great. But we're intelligent people. If we can look at it and tell by the what we know about the color wheel, we can get a good idea if something's just not going to work. Okay, I hope I've explained that well enough. I would like to go ahead and generate our numbers. I will generate four. After that, I can choose numbers, additional numbers. I can also choose which embellishments I would like in the project. And I also pick the project. I just need to get some help with my colors because I'm indecisive. This is the best way I figured out to get some colors. And either they're going to work or they're not, or they'll be so-so. And hopefully it gives you an idea of either using the number generator yourself or take note of the colors that I have found that work well together. Now, I'm going to go ahead and generate our first number. I've already put the parameters in, 1 through 343, and I'm going to generate. First number, 263. I really wish I hadn't put my gloves on already. It's hot. All right, second number, 155. Third, 299. High numbers. And the last one, uh. 296. Didn't have to go very far for that, did it? Okay, so this is completely random numbers that are generated. I have no control over it. It's through Google. And I'm going to pull the colors. I'm going to figure out what colors I'd like to add to it. And I'm going to figure out what project we're going to do. It will just take me a moment, though, to get everything together. Hang tight. Okay, everybody, I'm back with our colors. Let me go over what we got. We got 263, which is a chameleon powder, powder from Colorful, and this is purple and gold. Next, we have 155, which is Pinata Mantilla Black. Then we have 299. I hunted and hunted for this, and it was right where it was supposed to be. Number 299 is Jungle Green by Black Diamond. And then 296. I'm telling you, I don't know why I keep getting this number, but I do. It's Bombay by Magenta, <laughs> Magenta by Bombay. That's 296. Now, I have chosen to add Just Resin's Phantom Black. That's a pigment paste. And then in the middle, I'm going to use these Sparkle Diamonds from Laura's Art Corner. Look how beautiful they are. Yay! I'm excited to use those. Used them once or twice before. Her stuff never fails to impress. Okay, so what I was thinking, guys, because these numbers are, are colors are pretty 
Mm. I'm anxious to see what happens. But I was thinking I could dust. Oh, I'm doing these. Aren't they cute? They're little log slices. They're a little stained from the last time I used them. I washed them and it still didn't come out. So, but that's okay. The end result will not have those colors. So I was thinking I could dust them with the purple gold chameleon powder, or I was thinking that the green might be better than let these colors work together. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, it's a toss up, 50-50. I just think one of them will, it would be nice if one of these were um, powdered on there. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going with the green. Go for the green. My hands are so sweaty in these gloves tonight. I got the air conditioning on and the fan blowing right at me. It's 67, but for some reason, Sam is hot. Okay, here we go. It's a pretty green. Now, if you don't wanna watch me do all this, then you're welcome to fast forward. Some people want to see it all. I know I do when I'm watching. Not my videos, when I'm watching other people's videos. Which, really, that's all I watch on TV is videos about resin. Oh, or how to do a YouTube video. <laughs> that might take a little while. But I will get it. I am determined. I don't know the word quit. Quitters never win. These are such cute coasters. I saw them, um, Susanna Danks from Lorez. Am I saying her last name right? I saw her use them, and then I saw Julie, Miss Julie from Pour Your Heart Out. And I just loved them. And then when I saw them, which I bought them on, it's either Sheen or Shane. I, I'm not quite sure. It's spelled S-H-E-I-N. That website, they have a lot of different molds on there. So when I found them on there, I was super excited. They probably have them on Amazon too. You know, Amazon has everything. And really, if you can't find it on Amazon, you probably don't need it. <laughs> I'm just playing. Oh, Nicely powdered, dusted. There we go. Pick up the base and pick it up. Pick it up. Pokey butt. I can't believe it's the beginning of November, you guys. This year, definitely, when they say time flies when you get older, it sure does. It sure does. My baby is 20. 20. But you know how that goes. He'll always be my baby. Thinking he might be going into the Coast Guard, which I will be a proud Coast Guard mom. And that's the one service where they don't have to leave the United States. Okay, so we got that. Let me shake them over the trash can and get rid of the excess. Beautiful. Okay. Let's roll. I am using my resin of choice, which is ClearCast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. Great, great budget-friendly resin. It's better than great. It's wonderful. I love it. There's no bubbles, you know, except after you first 
mix it, which all resins have bubbles after you first mix it, and then they dissipate. All gone, all gone, gone. No more. Then you need to use a little heat after you've poured them. Other than that, great resin. So it's been sitting for 15 minutes, ready to be poured in the cups. I am gonna start off with a little bit of this chameleon powder. You wanna put a little bit in there, in your cup, add just a touch of resin, mix that up to make a paste. Can you see over here? I mean, I'm kinda of like hogging it, trying to get it close to me. That's a really pretty color. Hmm, let's do a little more. There we go. Okay. Put that one in, oops. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit of resin, just a wee bit. Before I add any additional resin, I'll mix this up to make a little paste. I'll have to mention Julie from pouring your heart out again. When I first started watching videos, she is who I binge watch. So a lot of what I first learned, I learned from her. And she's the first one who taught me about how to make this paste to combine your color easier in your resin. I love watching her channel. She cracks me up. Hey, that's getting all mixed up. Woo, what a pretty color. Okay. Now, let's split up our resin. Oh, 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 let me add. I'm putting the two blacks together. I'm gonna mix the Phantom and the Pinata. Pinata together. Alrighty, let's go. I mixed up 16 ounces because these are four inch coasters so four times four to me equals 16 that's just kind of the way I roll judging it I don't measure it with water probably should but I don't okay and leave a little bit of clear you gotta take this over here, guys, out of your eyesight for a second. You can scrape the cup. Get all that good stuff. As I make a mess. That's why I wanted to do it over here so you guys couldn't see me making a mess. It's one thing about resin, it can make a mess in a heartbeat. Okay, I got all of that. Out of here, out of the way. Um, the only thing I need is I need a little bit for my sparkle diamonds. Just a little bit to make it all stick together. That's good. And uh, let me take a little more from this one. Okay. So let me start finish stirring this. The chameleon powder, purple gold. Sure looks pink to me, but. I guess there's a wide spectrum of purple on the wheel, color wheel. Okay. Back here, I'm gonna move it over here once we're done with it. Okay, let's go with the magenta. It's the India ink. These are really concentrated. They don't require very much. I, this, top around the top is just ugh, it's cruddy so I don't open it over my project so I don't end up with the crud in my project all right I put three but a fourth one snuck in there so four drops let's mix that all together making beautiful pink or magenta Four cups. I have one too many cups. 
That's okay. We'll find something to do with that. I got all kinds of projects around me that need a clear coat. Alright, I'm going to put the pigment paste in first. Uh-oh. That's a little hard. I know you're supposed to put it in the bath, but I didn't know it was going to be hard. Mm. You think I can use it just like this and it'll dissolve? Huh, we'll find out. I'll remember from now on when I pull the colors to check it to make sure it doesn't need to take a bubble bath. No, I'm kidding. Not a bubble bath. Just put it in a warm water bath. You put the whole jar in there. It's getting there. It worked. And I figured the odds were with me that it would work. If not, then it'd stay in a clump and I'd just fish it out. Awful weak, but we're going to add this black in there. So, let me make sure I shook this. You want to shake your alcohol inks really, really good. Shake, 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 shake your booty. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Nice odd number. Yeah, baby, look at that black. Black as a midnight sky without a moon. Let's see. This is how you can tell. <laughs> I got everything stuck together over here. This will tell us how dark our black is. Just take a paper towel and run your color on there. And you can see it's not dark as a midnight sky without moon, but it is a good black, especially for what we got to work with. So we use the black, we use two blacks. And we have the magenta and we have the, uh, what was it called? Purple gold. Looking at that, that's not bad. Now the green is another story, but I don't know. We will find out together, folks. Okay, so I have all this extra resin over here, which I'm sure we'll need. We'll just leave it clear. And I put in my little sparkle diamonds. My little spoon, they're so beautiful. One, two, three, four. Uh-uh. I think I might have too much resin in there, folks. Let's see if I can get some out. Hmm. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? So I'm just going to fish some of this out. A couple stones are going with it, but and I'm just putting it in there like that, getting a little bit out. Note to self add your middle and then put in your clear. Normally, I'm pretty good, I judge it pretty well. Hey, there's the first time for everything. i am got to be wrong every now and then. <laughs> okay. I'm, these are still a little runny. Not quite as crunchy. Oh, these adjectives we come up with working with resin. But they're heavy, so they'll sink. You know, it's not like glitter that'll float away. Gosh, they're gorgeous. Maybe I'll put another scoop in there. That'll help. Just a little teeny one. Now I want it to be seen anyway, so. There we go. All better. 
Yeah. All right. Without further yabbing or stirring or anything, let's get this pouring party started. Let's jump in. Let's go with, do we want to do a puddle pour? I'm going to go around the outside with the black. Oops. Slippery little sucker. I just want to add, guys, that I am doing all I can to learn how to do this videotaping and editing so there's probably gonna be some errors mistakes or what have you along the way be patient with me that's all I can say just follow me and be patient know that I am studying one thing or another every night every day when I have time so I can do great at exp explaining myself and creating for you guys and myself really and myself I, I can't say that it's for you it's for me with the benefit of being able to share it with new friends all right let's go with the purple gold and I am going to do the puddle pour right down the middle wow beautiful While we're sitting here just watching, let me explain about a little giveaway I have going on for subscribers. I have the uh, Ocean Pack, Ocean Basic Pack of pigment paste for Just Resin. I accidentally ordered two when I only wanted one. So rather than send it back, I thought, wow, this might be a good way to show my appreciation to all of you guys for watching. So if you like and subscribe, then send me a comment telling me that you liked and subscribed. I will send you a number back. Then when I get to, I know, I know it's probably unrealistic, but very optimistic, a thousand viewers, then I'm gonna do the giveaway. Now, if it just keeps going on longer and longer and longer, then I'll end up calling it and we will just go with however many subscribers we have at that time. But we just started. So I have hope, faith, and the will to see this through so I can continue showing beautiful color combinations, color combinations that aren't so beautiful, and sharing my knowledge that I have learned. If I get to teach somebody one thing, then that makes me happy. And you see how micas and pastes and Bombay inks and I, I don't use acrylic paints. I need to try, I think. Everybody else has tried it, or I shouldn't say everybody. A lot of the artists that I've seen use it, they've had great results. And then I've also seen people that have not so great results and say, don't use the acrylic paint. I don't know what to do. I guess there's only one thing to do is try it myself. I guess I'll have to add that to my 343. Oh, I need to make note. I have 344 colors, which I know that messes up the parameters I put in 343. But I just found it. It was one that I had numbered twice, or I used the same number twice. So I found it and I corrected it. We're now up to 244. Okay, these are pretty much full. So what I'm gonna do, I don't have much room for my sparkles, guys. Let me put a little clear in here. 
I'm gonna get down and dirty, see what happens. They're very little. All right, I'm gonna stand up. They're so pretty. I love them. Thanks, Laura. Thank you for coming up with a good product for me to find and buy. It's really hard to pick out what you want from her store because there's so many great choices. If you haven't visited Laura's Art Corner, I highly recommend it. All right, here we go. I gotta get down. Okay. So far so good, we're not overflowing. Shh, I don't wanna jinx it. Don't want to jinx it. Okay, one more. Okay, I think this one might need a few more sparkle sparkle. Little diamonds in the sky. In the midnight sky without a moon. <laughs> All right, now let's put some little fire on here with my new lighter. I no longer have to go click, 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 click. Quickly and efficiently, we wanna do this without burning our mold. And this one's not very deep, so I really have to use caution. Okay. We'll let that sit a minute, then I'll come back and put some more fire on it. You won't be with me. I'll do it while we're away. I see the green mica floating up that didn't come off. Hey, that adds character, right? I see lots of bubbles, though. Coming out of those grooves, I guess. All right, guys, that's what we got. I will uh, come back and see, I promise you, I won't fall asleep. I will come back in a few hours and we'll just get an idea of what's going on with our project. So hang tight, I'll be back. See you in a minute. Okay, everybody, it's been about four hours. So I came out here to check on our little guys. Um, I don't really notice much of a change. I do know here this black, I had a spillage. So I used a paper towel to suck it up and took some of that black with it. But that's what they look like after four hours. So we'll have to see what they look like in the morning on the other side. I think that's where everything is going to be told to us. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll see y'all in a little while. Good morning, everybody. Good half a second to you. I have let these sit overnight. I had a little gannat. Um, just to review, we had 296, which is Bombay's Magenta. We had 155, which is Pinata's Black. I added Just Resin's Phantom Black Pigment Paste. Then we had the Chameleon Powder from Colorful in the color of Purple Gold. Then we had number 299, which is Jungle Green by Black Diamond. And in the middle, I put Sparkle Diamonds from Laura's Art Corner. So beautiful here. Let's take a look again. Isn't that pretty? Mm -mm -mm. Gorgeous. All right. Blue. Let's see how we did, guys. I see some green mica floating, but hey. That's okay, that's okay. As long as the other side looks fabulous. Or beautiful. Uh-oh, got a little overflow, a little overflow. Not bad, oh, it picks right on. These molds are so easy to get everything in and out. Well, 
out. And same as usual. Ready? Bam! Oh, it's all green. <laughs> Bam! 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 Well, we got a green tree. You can't burn these. So this side's not bad. Didn't change much. Yeah. Did I dust it too much? Should I have used a different color? Excuse me while the plane goes over. Thank God for that jet noise. And defending our freedom. Okay, well, this is what we got, friends. I would not say this is a win winning combo. I think these colors would have been pretty by themselves without the green. I really do, because it's kind of, I just like that color. I think it's beautiful. Well, let's put this in the no column. Hey, we gotta get one every now and then. That's the whole point in this system, this method of choosing colors by using a number generating app. Okay guys, that's all for me. Um, don't forget about the giveaway. Like, subscribe, comment that you like and subscribe so I can get you a number. I hope everyone does well. Until next time, bye.